Hi guys, so welcome back to the Words Party channel. Today I'm bringing you some easy DIY ideas for transforming or for making over some thrifted items into beautiful treasures in a modern farmhouse style. If you follow the channel, you probably would have seen quite a few weeks ago my thrift store haul that I shared with you guys. So today I thought I'd transform them into some beautiful items to decorate my home. So hopefully this video will inspire you to transform a piece that you already have at home. I do not suggest you go out at the moment, but perhaps you have something that you have thrifted a while back like myself and has been sitting in your garage or sitting in your home and just needs a little bit of love. Because given the current global situation and we're all at home, we've actually been in quarantine here in France for a few days, so there's no better time to get creative, to do something that makes you feel happy, that brings joy to your home, to your heart and gives you peace of mind. With that being said, let's get crafting. And our first trash treasure DIY is this gorgeous blanket ladder. And this blanket ladder actually started off as a bamboo ladder. I bought it a while back, not in a thrift store, but in a local homeware store, and it was only 10 euros. And for a ladder like this, I thought it was totally worth it, even though I didn't like the look of the bamboo. So I decided to stain it using some dark oak colored wood stain. But obviously, feel free to use whatever color suits your decor. I think this ladder would also look really good in white, slightly distressed for a really nice modern farmhouse look and the bamboo being quite smooth in hindsight I should have you know sanded the surface a little bit better to make the paint adhere more uh, easily but it wasn't difficult it just took a few coats to get the ladder to my desired uh, shade of brown so I wanted basically to camouflage the fact that it was made from bamboo because it doesn't really suit uh, the farmhouse style so I just decided to stain it a little darker and I love how the ladder turned out. I like it so much better now that it's a little bit darker and obviously you can change the decor on your ladder, the blankets and the accessories to match each season. And for this ladder, I was actually debating to add some jute cord to the edges of the ladder, you know, where the horizontal and the vertical pieces meet. But let me know down in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Our next a Trash to Treasure DIY or DIY makeover if you like is this gorgeous two-tier tray. I actually thrifted the frame like I showed you in my last uh, thrift store haul and I used these wooden trays which I had already at home. I purchased them brand new from a local craft store and I'll be sure to leave the link to any supplies or any materials that I use in this video down in the description box for you so you can find something similar online, whatever you live in the world. And so basically for this DIY, I did not do much. I didn't actually touch the frame. I just cleaned it up a bit. And I decided to use some of the dark oak wood stain that I used, the same one that I used for the blanket ladder. And I just added a couple of coats to uh, my wooden trays. And when my trays were dry I simply hot glued them and added a little bit of E6000 as well to make sure they adhered to the black frame and I love how this tear tray turned out and I actually used it uh, in my little coffee bar and just to add a little bit of decoration I made a little beaded garland and using some you know wooden beads from my local craft store and some jute string as well and once I made a little garland I just tied a knot at the end and left a little bit of string hanging out so that I could add a little tassel. And to make my tassel, I just looped the twine around my hand several times, tied a little bit of twine on top to secure it and just trimmed off the edges to make my little, uh, little tassel. And I think it looks so cute adorning my little tear tray and you can use that for a coffee bar or with any other decor to suit any season. And for our next trash to treasure DIY is this gorgeous black frame. And when I found this frame at the thrift store, I loved the shape 
but it didn't actually have a glass panel on it but I love the shape so much I decided to buy it anyway and for that all I did was to create some printables that uh, kind of like relate to our family so our family number year and our initials as well and you can find the same printables with the black background or the white in my shop and I'll leave the link down in the description box for you and we can personalize it to suit your own family so with whatever date uh, number and initials that you want and basically I just stuck that to the front and I think it looks so adorable alongside my tear tray but you obviously you can use that to decorate a mantle to put a picture of your family or even to make a little blackboard I think that would look really cool as well and for the next trash to treasure DIY is this really pretty farmhouse planter and I actually found this wicker basket or wicker planter uh, in my local thrift store and it was in really good condition it just needed a little bit of cleaning and to give it that farmhouse look I decided to use some white chalk paint and I painted the inside and the outside of a planter I wasn't a very neat and I wasn't very precise because I really wanted that kind of aged look so I just really quickly brushed one coat of the paint on top and when that was dry I used a little uh, chalkboard tag that I found in my local craft store and I wrote farm fresh with my chalk pen and just to decorate that I just used some faux box woods that you can find in places like Ikea online or even the Dollar Tree and I think it turned out so cute and it was such a simple DIY and you can obviously use it to decorate a table as a table centerpiece a little vignette like I did here uh, for my little coffee bar or even a windowsill and speaking of coffee bar, uh, I thrifted a couple of frames. I love oval frames and this one didn't have a backing, didn't have glass or anything else. And I also thrifted this more intricate one and this one had a glass, it was actually a mirror and I had the idea of turning them into uh, chalkboard uh, frames. And for the intricate one, it actually had some stickers on it. So I cleaned it up with some acetone, you know, a little bit of elbow grease to get rid of all the glue. But when I was actually doing that, I tried to remove the mirror from the frame and it was so thin that it actually broke. But no big deal because uh, I thought of using with the other frame that didn't have a backing or the mirror to use some foam board and actually paint that with some chalk paint and create my uh, chalk board frames or chalk board signs. So this is what I did for this one as well after it was cleaned. And to make sure that everything matched my decor, I just used some white spray paint and here you can use some matte, some gloss or whatever you like or even some chalk paint as well, it works great. Just be sure to add a little thin coat of uh, clear glue, PVA glue on top if you're using chalk paint or anything that's a little bit matte to stop the paint peeling. But once I did a few coats of the white paint, I was ready to add my chalkboard part. And like I said, I'm recycling here some foam board, which I had at home. And I just trace the size of the frame and cut it a little bit bigger to be able to hot glue that to the back of my frame. And to make my chalkboard, I just use a simple chalkboard paint uh, that I found at my local craft store. And you can buy these online really inexpensively as well. And depending on how thick your paint is, you may need one, two, or even three coats of the paint to cover the entire thing. And once my paint was dry, I simply used some hot glue to attach it to the back of my frames. And I'm using a high temperature hot glue gun, but if you haven't got that, you can use just some regular glue gun uh, in combination with a strong glue like E6000 or super glue. And for this oval frame, I decided to use it in my coffee bar. So I printed out the words coffee time and I used a technique of transference. So using some chalk, light colored chalk on the back of the printout to be able to transfer the text or any images to the blackboard and I just use a pencil to kind of trace out the letters and the chalk will help it show up on the black surface. Obviously if you have a cutting machine like a cameo or a silhouette you can simply cut it out using your machine and be done with it but I wanted to show you guys a different technique in case you don't have those machines to hand. 
and to finish off my sign I simply took a white chalk pen and I just went in the letters and filled them in and painted them in. Obviously you could use some white paint and a very small paintbrush as well that would work too and it's up to you whether you wanted uh, a, like a faded design as you can see on the O there. I just painted it once and let it dry and went over with the pen once again to make it really stand out against the black. And I love how this little sign turned out and I think it matches beautifully with my little tea tray which I used to decorate my little coffee bar and all the other thrifted items and the revamped or made over little thrifted uh, treasures that I found. I think it looks so pretty together but obviously you can use all the different uh, elements separately but I think it looks so cute as a little coffee bar like I said. And if you're wondering what happened to the ornate frame, here it is. I used it to decorate my mantle and I didn't actually add any text to it because I think it looked quite chic and quite cool this way. There you have it you guys. I am so happy with how everything turned out, how these transformations looked. And hopefully you guys feel inspired as well to turn some trash into treasure or to just revamp some uh, thrifted items that you find at your local thrift store. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and lets me know that you like this kind of content. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.